Hello. Hi there. This is our second video on using neurofeedback at home, and we'll be demonstrating what we do so you can see it in action. But first, I wanted to share with you a quote from psychologytoday.com, and it was posted on April 17th, 2015. And it said that increasing alpha brain waves can stimulate creativity and minimize depression. This should help you to understand why you'll be seeing alpha brain waves focused on in the program later on. The other thing we wanted to mention before we get started is that the headset that we're going to be using is not the same headset that we used in our previous video, that we opened up in the previous video. We were having a hard time getting that headset to connect with Beth's head, particularly. Yes. Mine, not so much of a problem, but I do have shorter hair, so that's probably why. It, so, it did not like my head. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. So here's our Emotive Insight headset. And one thing I wanted to mention about this that I forgot to mention in our box opening video was the price. This one costs $300 plus shipping. But the one that you saw us open up in our box opening video, that one was $300, but it came on sale for 10% off, plus it came with free shipping. So that one was a little cheaper. One thing I wanted to cover is showing you how to turn it on. So if you see this button right here, I'm going to press that. And then when I turn that on, that's going to make this little white light there turn on right there, showing that it's on. So now I want to show you how Beth puts it on her head. So she's going to have to take off her glasses. Yes. And we explain in our <laughs> box opening video where each sensor goes. Yeah, I'm not too proficient at putting this on my head, but... So there it is. It's on her head. So this is a program that I wrote myself. I wrote it using the C-sharp programming language and Microsoft Visual Studio and also the software development kit from Emotive. I was not able to use screen recording software to record this because I needed to show how the screen gets bright and dim, and my screen recording software was not able to pick up on that. I also wanted to mention that for a more detailed explanation of the features of this program, I'm going to have some future content, probably. One thing I want to point your attention to here is if you look down here on this diagram of the head with the numbers on it, what that is is that's a contact quality map. And four is the best, zero is no connection at all. The one on the left of the head is a two, and that's no surprise because that's right in the middle of the hair. Now we had better connection on this back sensor just a few seconds ago, so let's see if we can move that back one around to get it to connect better. One thing that you can do on that back sensor to try to get it to connect better is add some saline solution. So here's our saline solution. We got it from Walgreens. So we have to pour a little bit of that on her head and we'll see if we can get that contact connection to be better. For Okay, so there we have it. So with the saline solution, we got a connection on that back sensor. So now as we get started, what you're going to notice is when the alpha readings go up, the screen gets bright and the sound turns on. When the alpha readings go down, it's the opposite. The screen gets dim and the sound turns off. Before I go ahead and hit play on this video, I wanted to mention that this is not the video we usually use when doing this exercise. However, this is a video that we knew we weren't going to have any copyright issues with. So that's why we're using it. Wanted to make a comment also on how this works. The subconscious brain is controlling the volume and the brightness. So if the brain wants to hear the sound and see the video more clearly, it'll figure out how to do it, and that means increasing alpha. The subconscious brain cannot be consciously controlled, but this is a way to influence it, or at least get some insight into it.
hope that you found this video informative. If you did enjoy this video, we'd appreciate it if you liked, subscribed, commented, and we will be coming out with more content on this topic. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.